Alex, thank you. 12 News is your local election headquarters. And with a week until Rhode Island primary day, the Cranston mayoral race continues to be heating up between the two Republican candidates. As we reported last week, incumbent Mayor Ken Hopkins was sued for allegedly taking a classic car without paying for it. This afternoon, his opponent, State Representative Barbara Ann Fenton Fung, called on law enforcement to get involved. Jake Holter joins us live in studio now with the details. Jake. Yeah, Shannon and Mike, in a news conference outside City Hall, Fenton Fung called for Rhode Island State Police, the Attorney General's Office, and the Ethics Commission to look into what she called an abusive office. This appears to be the worst form of corruption. State Representative and Cranston mayoral candidate Barbara Fenton Fung with strong words for sitting Mayor Ken Hopkins. These are damning allegations, many of which Mr. Hopkins almost admitted to on Friday in different reports. You know, when he says, yes, I have the car, yes, I took it. In a lawsuit filed last week, the mayor is accused of, quote, wrongfully taking a motor vehicle owned by David Broccoli without his authorization and without any agreement with him to pay for it back in 2021. Broccoli also suggests he suffered, quote, harassment, retaliation, intimidation, and abuse from several city officials who targeted him amid the dispute over the car. Hopkins pushed back in a statement saying Fenton Fung was trying to exploit a lawsuit for political purposes, adding, quote, because I would not play the games of my predecessor and give him favorable tax treatment on his excessively overdue large tax payments, he has instituted a meritless lawsuit as a prop for my opponent's losing campaign. Tuesday morning, Cranston's police union declared their support for the mayor in a statement, which reads in part, quote, with his leadership and the commitment of the men and women of the department, our city will be kept safe. I had multiple police officers call me up over the weekend and apologize that their union had endorsed him and that they know how well I worked with them. Common Cause Executive Director John Marion points out the lawsuit won't be resolved by Election Day. Voters won't sort of know where this goes by the time they cast their ballots. Voters are just going to have to weigh, uh, you know, what's been reported and what's in the lawsuit uh, and make a decision. Now again, primary day is one week from today. You can find more information on voting on our website, WPRI.com. For now, live in studio, Jake Holter, 12 News.